that's why the Lakers had a lot of interest in him when he came out. Uh, they drafted him uh, in the second round, and he stuck on the team for the full year. Uh, actually got some playing time at times. Uh, uh, Phil Jackson was trying to see if he could make him into kind of a, another Scotty Pippen type player who can handle the ball and, and uh, defend smaller guys. Well, Lakers certainly like six foot nine guys, don't they? Yeah. What was the guy's name? Irving uh, something, wasn't it? Magic, I think. <laughs> But uh, Scotty Pippen was, uh, you know, legit six, six, seven, six, eight point guard, or point forward. Uh, Sunju was was supposed to be that guy. Well, Bansin Ui misses from the foul line. He needs two more to make double figures. He needs three more to equal the 11 points that uh, his teammate Hong Poon Gan scored against Iran yesterday. Well, 105 plays 20. It's a very similar score to yesterday, and China are on the foul line again. And that man on that foul line, Zhang Bo. Another foul in quick succession from Min Jo Pung. Coming in for Malaysia, number nine, Wen Kiong Tong. Chinakis, always asking his players to do there, but uh, didn't look well pleased. That's asking for some full court pressure. Unfortunately for Coach Chinakis, that full court pressure resulted in a foul. Zhang Bo reaching in. And that puts China in the penalty. Not that they will be want Ota concerned about that. We're home. <laughs> Did that pass make its uh, intended recipient? And the rebound, a certain Sun Yu. And the foul against Malaysia's number nine, Wen Kong Tong. Situation there in which both players, all their limbs were intertangled, and uh, the smaller player <laughs> got the foul. That's good boxing out. Two men boxed one out, one opponent, one much bigger opponent. Last two minutes then. Oh! <laughs> well, there was some attitude there from Zhu Peng. The lane opened up and he threw it down with some venom. Fighting to the end. And Joe Fung. It's his fourth point of the game. Look at that points in the paint. Testament to the fact that China easily outsized their opponents. 56 points in the paint compared to eight by Malaysia. Zhang Bo, it's China's 12th three. Well, I think the best thing that's come out of this game for China is that renewed confidence in that three-point shot that's going to be crucial for them later on down the road. And with less than a minute to go, Malaysia score, or rather call, their third and final timeout of the game. Third and final timeout of the second half, that is. So, leading scorer in the game, number 13 for China. That's Wang.
Now, correct me if I'm wrong. The wo the women's world championship goes on at the same time. Not quite. It's Not in quite. Turkey next year. Oh, it's in Turkey. No, it would be difficult to organize at the same time because of all the officials needed and uh, not just the, the referees on the, on the floor, but the officials of FIBA who uh, organized just about every tournament. Women's World Championship, the champions from Turkey, which is held in a lovely place called uh, Carlo Vivari in Czech Republic, the United States. Turkey hosting it next year could be uh, contenders for one of the medals. Up and coming power in uh, men's and women's basketball. A lot of money gone into Turkish club basketball. And uh, one of the most successful coaches ever in European basketball, Michael Zelko Obradovic, has gone to Turkey, having spent a uh, large part of his career in Greece at Panathinaikos. The winningest coach in Euroleague history, they call him. Horrible word, that winningest, but uh, you know what I mean. That's how to stay at the rebound. And that's how to hustle from Malaysia. 30 seconds remaining in the fourth period. And that's a... Uh 91 point lead by China over Malaysia, which is one point more than uh, how, uh, what uh, Iran had it at. Are there bragging rights on that then? <laughs> <laughs> we scored more than you. Yeah, we beat him by 91. You only beat him by 90. And he could increase if China do take the last shot of the game, which I doubt they're going to do. So 113 plays 22. As expected, an emphatic win for China. And Malaysia didn't quite make the 25 they made against Iran yesterday. But I'm sure they had fun out there. If indeed you can enjoy a 91 point hammering. Next game up is Saudi against Chinese Taipei. And that indeed will be a lot closer. 1.15, tip off time there. Well, I hope you've enjoyed China against Malaysia. Despite the large margin, there were some uh, awesome skills on display there, particularly from the defending champions, China. So China, go play two, won one, lost one. Malaysia, play two, lost them both. Just to confirm there, Wang Zilin, number 13 for China, leading scorer in the game, 21 points, not quite a double-double. He pulled down nine rebounds. So from me, Roy Birch, and from Tim Cohn, we'll take a break. But uh, don't forget, it should be a lot closer game at 1.15, Saudi against Chinese Taipei.